So I, I talk about these ideas with teams, and sometimes, like, sometimes they buy in, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they tell me, Yaniv, you know, you need to get off the ivory tower and grab a pager and like, get in the trenches with the rest of us, right? And, and I empathize with that, right? Like they feel so overloaded with operational work, with the rollouts, with capacity planning, like a fire there, a fire here, what, what do we do? And I think even though I empathize, they may have an incorrect perception that the way to make users happier is to do more operations. If the pager is paging, if I won't you know, do something, users are being hurt. And that may be correct, but it's not always correct. You can trade off operations and user happiness. There is some kind of relationship between them. Maybe this is the curve. Maybe there's a different curve. Maybe one inflection point. Maybe seven inflection points. But it's not the only thing you can do. You can also move the curve, right? It could be that the curve wasn't actually the optimal front. It wasn't Pareto efficient. And you could do engineering work, not in an emergency, not operations, not firefighting, to either gain user happiness or do less operations um, without trading off the other thing. Okay, so this is a bit abstract. Let me give you a couple of examples. Right? Uh, after months of toiling on you know, you, your array of microservices and making sure that all of them meet uh, what you thought about as the SLO that you've set for each, and all of them meet the three and a half nines that you promised yourself or you promised your devs or you promised like, the CEO, you kind of like really think about all the, the work that you've put there and all the pages at night and all the capacity planning and all the, the, the drama and be like, actually, how does this relate to the business? When, when this service is failing, are my users actually hurt? Maybe I can uplift my measurement and discover that actually the client side is caching or the client side is retrying. And actually, I don't need three and a half nines in that service. All I need to do is turn down the alerts, right? Or, or tune down the alerts to, to alert at a much lower, like a burn rate when we're aiming at a much lower level of reliability. So you're doing less ops now. You didn't hurt anyone. All you're doing is changing the way you're thinking about the problem and your perception of reliability. Another thing you could be doing is after improving measurement and actually maybe measuring client side, you discover that your, your fleet of uh, pristine 99.95% uh, uh, microservices is amazing, but actually uh, your, your client side code has a bunch of serial and interdependent requests, right? Like you need to make 25 requests in order to, to do a meaningful user interaction. And if any one of them fails, uh, the, you know, the interaction would fail. And, and three nines to, to the power of 25 is something like 97.5. Suddenly your, your view of reliability is different. Okay, so, so I'm discovering that I'm 97.5% reliability. What, what, what do I do now, right? Like, do, do I page someone? Do I roll back? There's nothing to roll back. This is, this is how it's been, like, for, for the last six months. There's nothing to roll back. There's no one to page. It's not an emergency. What you need to do is get into the service code, get into the client code, change the way that you're sending the AJAX request, make them parallel, add caching, add retries, change the architecture. Working on the product code, changing the service code, this is totally a, it's a rework to my mind, right? So this is one way in which, the, or perhaps the main way in which SRE can, can yield the right kind of value, it's by changing the front, changing the balance between operations and user happiness. 